This content is brought to you in association with my buddies over at Jam Jam Cards UK. You can find the links to the eBay store and the Facebook page in the description. Hi guys, it's Joe here from Rufio. Firstly, before we get stuck in, let me apologise for any noise in the background. We're actually recording this in the middle of our OTS Championship, but uh, Merlin is no longer playing in the event on account of his deck doing very well. However, last weekend, it made up for it, and you'd rather take that one, right? Yeah. So, what did you play? How did you get on? Where did you play as well? So, last week we played at the Leicester Regional. Yep. And I went 6-1 and one playing Tribrigo DPU. Pretty spicy. Nobody's playing that at the moment, but... No, but it, it used to be a good deck. It used to be a good deck last weekend. <laughs> yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, anything you want to say before we get in the profile? This deck is super hit or miss. Super hit or miss. It's either insane or nothing, right? Yeah. Okay, fair enough. Right, let's get stuck in, shall we? So for the monster, it's a very, very standard deck, in my opinion. Three Phyrexel, three Naval, three Kits, two Kara. Standard Tri Brigade ratio, they've never changed. Uh, got three cats. This card resolved all the time last weekend and got veiled every time we got summoned here today. <laughs> Turns out it's a good card when it resolves, though. Yep, so very standard. Um, obviously, this deck has consistency issues when your only real starter is three cats, three fractal, or the fusion destinies. Yep. But I think with the power level of this deck, it's fine. So when you can play, you do win. We got Dash of Celestial. Yeah. That's like very good cards when you don't draw them. <laughs> For the hand traps, this is why I want to play this deck because you can just play so many hand traps. Gamma package. Yep. Yeah. Uh, Ogre. I think, and we've also got a three in perm. Just every hand trap. Yeah, I, w I wanted to play this deck just because of how many hand traps, and I wanted to beat the uh, combo kitchen sink deck. Yeah. Uh, like, the theory was, I saw someone else had it, was if you open two hand traps versus it, you're not getting side flops. Yeah. So that's why I wanted to play those that many hand traps. We've also got spells, three droplets, two fusion destiny. Yeah. Uh, one tanky, uh, one four by one four. Uh, just these are two more starters and call the grave. Just call the grave. And then I think the reason everyone remembers this deck: three try we get Win condition. This card is insane. It's pretty good. I know people are putting this to two, but you can't. This card's just so good. But you just want to open it, right? Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Uh, Moving on to the extra deck. Again, quite a standard extra deck, except for like maybe one card. So we got three Shuri, two Baron Blossom, only, only multiple as you play. Uh, for the other Gate, we've got one Rugal, one Verbrum, one Rise Volga, one Dragon Lord. This can shuffle away DP or any of the DP package from the yeah. grave. So that's, that's mainly what it was made for. Pretty good. But other than that, it's, it's just very standard. We then got one Apple Loser, one Verte, one Almirage, one Axis Code, and probably one of the best cards this weekend mm -hmm. was Cypher and Lord Lambda. Okay, sure. So the theory behind this card was that when you summon Bear Room, and you want to link it off. If you can't make an apple, you don't want to make Anaconda because Bear Brum locks you out. Yeah. And I read the like to go in, summon Bear Brum, make Anaconda, send some DP and pop both because it's a huge neg. If the if you get nibbed, if you get contract on the bird, say, or even just a resolving, you go super neg. Yeah. So this. You can make this by linking off of everyone with Tri Brigade, add the revolt and set, and people will just fear Gamma even if you don't have it. Yeah. Like, this will be, like, I think my game versus Sky Striker because I just gammaed the Hayato. <laughs> Some psychological warfare as well. And then finally, that's God. DPE. Card's broken. We go to the side deck. So, for preference, I built this at, I think, 8 o'clock the night before the event, because yep. I tilted hard off Ignista, so <laughs> okay. there is no real theory behind this side Ignista, hate. 
So I looked at my like binder and said, what are the best cards to play this format? And that was three nil, three draw, three Lancia. Yep. Um, these two were for the um, Plunderese matchup. Yep. Because I was super scared of that deck. And Nib, it's just, again, I could have made this card if I had more testing, but uh, we didn't. Uh, three Cosmic, uh, one Duster, one Reboot, and one Pank. Yep. Uh, Cosmics I was not sold on because if you get Lanciad as people signing in for you, yeah, of it's course. awful. But my theory was you can go, this is chaining two to Lanciad to take out maybe a Fog Blade or a Scythe. Yep. And then there's only five, maybe six cards to take out back row here because I didn't expect it to be any back row decks to be good this format. Yeah. And instead I instead I played um, more hand traps. And a back row man cackles in the background. <laughs> we, we don't talk about that much. We, we don't. Okay, cool. Uh, any comments, anything you might change other than the whole deck? So, <laughs> if I was playing this deck like again, I'd want to play Small World. Yep. Uh, Small World contributes any hand trap to an engine piece and the engine piece to a hand trap. Because most of the issues I had today playing a new test championship was that I would just either draw a five hands of, like, five hands of just tri brigades, yep. or i just play hand traps. Yep. I love you can't, you can't win games with this deck. By opening either or you have to open the combination. Yeah. So I would want to test small worlds and I think that was actually all I really wanted to test with the stuff. Other than that, I just want to drop it. Okay, fair I enough. Gone. <laughs> well, any shout outs before we go? I'll uh, shout out to Caleb because the Saturday when I tilted something Mister, I know for what to play. So he said take Sky Strikers. Yeah. So I was like, oh, I know how to play Sky Strikers. Went home and decided to play this instead. Yeah, good choice. Uh, I don't even know why. I had Sky Strikers, but didn't want to play it. Hey, it worked out. Yeah. Definitely can't complain. Okay, well, thank you very much for taking the time to do the profile. I really appreciate it. Guys, if you're watching and you haven't hit subscribe, you most definitely should. And if you're looking to pick it up with some Yu-Gi-Oh! singles, check out the channel sponsors, Jam Jam Cards UK. Link in the description. Thank you very much for coming along. Thank you very much for doing the profile. Congratulations on the top. I'll see you in the next one.